I think sharks are really fascinating animals. They are a kind of uh, maximum in the evolution system. So they, they are almost perfect animals. And uh, in this respect, we can learn a lot from sharks. Shark skin is not smooth as one would expect, but it's very rough and this roughness uh, is uh, making them faster in the water. Why this roughness is uh, improving swimming? Uh, there is a reason, and the reason can be explained in mathematical terms. Okay, when we have a, a shark in the water, in this region around the shark, there is another dynamics related to what we call the water viscosity. So the water viscosity is uh, responsible of resistance of the water to the swimming. This occurs like when you take a cart and you throw these cards in this way. So the fluid, each card is a kind of layer of fluid uh, slipping one over the other. And this is uh, the action of viscosity. This action is uh, creating uh, some uh, vortexes on the surface of the shark. And uh, these vortexes are di dissipating energy. Now, if the surface is uh, uh, not flat, but is rough, like we have on shark skin, the re this uh, uh, roughness is breaking uh, these vortexes, is reducing the occurrence of these vortexes, thanks to water trapped uh, in, in these valleys of the riblets. The roughness of a shark skin, the, the presence of these riblets, makes the shark faster. In the Olympic Games of 2004, a uh, couple of companies uh, uh, try to reproduce this effect on the swimsuits uh, of Olympic swimmers. And I was working with the, one of those companies in Europe uh, and uh, we reproduce mathematically the effect uh, in order to quantify the real advantage and try to identify an optimal shape and an optimal sizing of these riblets. We found an advantage, a reduction of drag uh, around 14%. These are the equations underlying the mathematics of Sharkskin. After we found the need for the work of Rish, and the desire to do this in technology, we chose to do this role to role to role between the lines on the basis of the lamination of the existing, where we will make changes and adjustments to our needs. This is how we found the result of the work of Chemograph for the work of the Tappis. This is the open space in the work of the Shat Rakava. This is the open space after the work. כאן ניתן לראות הפעלה ראשונית וסיבוב רגיל. הדגם מוכנס. את הגלילי יציאה שחררנו כמעט לגמרי, שלא יפעילו לחץ. ניסיון נוסף להכנסת הדגם. לאחר שלחצנו את הברגים, להפעלת לחץ נוסף על הגליל הלוחץ. לפנינו ניסיון ההדפסה המוצלח ביותר. ניסיון זה מהווה הוכחה לכך שיש אפשרות להמשיך ולנסות ויש בזה טעם. זהו שולחן שסורטט בסוליטוורקס לטובת הניסוי. זה היה החזון וזה המציאות. כך נראה השולחן אותו בנינו לאחר התכנון. תודה רבה.